Hey guys, it's Rhonda from Rhonda's Life, and it's Channing, my little baby boy. Okay, so, um, he is almost six months. Um, today's the fourth, so on the eighth, he'll be six months by growth. He was a, he's seven months, but he was born a month early, so his development is really by six months and they go by six months at the pediatrician so i don't know why but i just automatically thought sitting up meant that they sit up completely i just found out sitting up the milestone for sitting up is just sitting up like you set them in a seating position and they're able to hold themselves if i would have known that i would have already been sitting him up and getting them ready for it um and so, that's what this video is going to be about. So, I started to question, why isn't he sitting up? Because like I said, I thought he was going to just sit all the way up. Um, and then I found out that it, that's not how it works. You, he, They get in a sitting position. Um, so, the last three days I've been working with him. And he's now sitting up. I mean, he still falls back once in a while. But three days, and I've got him sitting up. So... It definitely helps to get them ready for it and to um, to encourage them to sit up. Um, also, to encourage them to roll over. I'm just now realizing I need to encourage them to roll over. I didn't. I thought that they would just do it. So, I'm sure some babies do just do it, but... Um, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt to encourage them. And so that's where I'm at now. And it's been three days. And he, I went and got some toys. I got a mat. And this has got like a rubber feel. So he's able to, you know, have a good grip. Um, also, the pediatrician, um, I showed him how he's doing when he roll, rolls over. Like I can pull his arm and then he'll finish it. And the pediatrician said, that's great. That's great that he's... That he's finishing it and he's showing the progress um, that he is going to roll over. And he's trying to roll over from his stomach to his back. But, like I said, he didn't have a good grip. And I also didn't know that tummy time makes them stronger to be able to roll over and to be able to sit up and do all that stuff. So, um, I'm just now figuring this out. I'm a first time mom. And... You know, I'm just kind of learning a lot of new things. But I'm going to show you little things that I'm doing um, that helped him. In case your baby's six months old and you're like me, thinking the same way that he that sitting up means they sit up. But it's not. It doesn't mean that. It means that they just sit in the seating position. Also, the rollover, my pediatrician said... As long as he's trying and he finishes, like when you when you help him roll over, he, he knows how to finish a roll. That shows that they're on good track um, because it can take seven to eight months years old to where they actually roll over. And he was a very small baby. He was only four pounds and ten ounces. And he's, you know, got way bigger now. But, um, yeah, I'm sure that has a lot to do with, you know, everything and how he develops um so yeah let me show you so i went and got some blocks i got this all this is from walmart um and i literally before three days ago he didn't even know what sitting up meant all right so i just literally put him in a seating position i made i put my legs behind him and i just sat there and he kept falling back and falling back but, eventually, now, since it's been three days, he now will sit. He now will sit. And you see how he's not throwing himself back? He now realizes that he can sit. And like I said, I wish I would have known that I needed to encourage him because I would have encouraged him. So, but always, at this, at this age, don't ever just put him there. Um... Unless you know for sure that your baby will sit up and not fall back. Don't ever, you know, leave a baby 
just sitting there when they're just learning how to sit up because they will fall back and they will really hurt themselves. Um, so I did this the first day and a half, two days and made sure the first day, like I said, he kept falling back and falling back. And the second day he fell back a little bit and then he just, he started to realize that he has strength. And this is the third day. And so yesterday he was sitting up by himself and today he's sitting up by himself without throwing himself back. Um, yeah, so I'm really super proud of him, you know, within three days of letting him know that his body is capable of sitting up. Um, and so yesterday I got these blocks and this helped him tremendously yesterday. He was playing with these things so much and that made him realize his body strength. And you see, he loves them. He loves them. Um, so I just put them all in front of him. I also have, and like I said, this is all from Walmart. So I'm not going to leave him. I'm going to put a seat back here. And you'll notice he won't, he won't throw himself back, which he used to throw himself back. But I will, I'm not ever going to leave him until, you know, I know for sure that, you know, he won't throw himself back. Um, and sometimes he'll, yeah, all right, let me go grab the other little toy real quick that I got him. I got him a, he's doing so good. This is the third day, remind you, the third day of me working with him and showing him what his body's capable of doing and giving him toys to play with and he's doing it. So this is a little piano. Let's cut it on. And drums that he pushes. It has different settings. So that's one setting. This is the other setting. And it really gets his attention to where he doesn't want to throw himself back and he, he starts to start sitting up. So that's, and this like makes animal noises. But I like the piano one. Um, so, and the first day or two, he would go forward to the side, not forward, but to the side. Um, now, but the pillow still catches them, um, because they kind of go to the side like that in the, the pillow. So this pillow, this breastfeeding pillow is a perfect pillow for them if they go on the, the right or the left side or if they throw their stuff back in the beginning. But like I said, just showing them that they're able to sit up is what can help your baby and you will be like wow you know i, I should have just been encouraging them to sit up the whole time um little bubba all right so <laughs> he's mild and this is from walmart i thought it was so super cool okay now yeah now i'm gonna show you the last three days I've been trying to help him roll over. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you what I mean by what my pediatrician said. And like I said, tummy time is what's going to make him really strong. And I didn't really know that. I mean, I just thought, oh, it helps their head and it helps them um, hold their self up if they ever need to lift their body up. But I didn't really understand. I didn't know because this is my first baby. I didn't know that it helps them sit up, it helps them roll over, tummy time does. But, so, I've been doing tummy time, but I want to show y'all what I'm doing to help him roll over. Alright? And I'm actually, I think I'm going to do it this way so y'all can see how he positions his body. Alright, so, I've been saying, Bubba, come on, give me your hand. Let's roll over. And so, when I turn him, watch what he does. You ready? You, you finish it, Bubby. There you go. So he finished. He finishes it. That's, and it actually took me the the whole day to show him rolling over. Now it's three days. Now he's understanding rolling over. Um, but he hasn't tried to roll over by himself, which is a little confusing. But whenever I try to get him to roll over, um, Let's do it again. Let's show him how strong the baby is. All right, so I just say, come on, baby. And he starts to understand that when I pull his arm, it's time for him to move his little butt. You ready? Show him how you do your hips. Come on, you can do it. And I don't pull him. I just give him to where he can hold on to me and do it. See, he rolled himself over. I pulled his arm. And it's like as if he's holding on to something and pulling his body. So he held on 
to my hand and pulled his body. But I did pull him over a little bit. And then he realized, okay, I'm going to roll myself over. Now he's trying to roll himself over this way. But he's not able to yet. Okay, okay, okay. See, he don't like tummy time either, which sucks, but um, he has to do it, you know. He has to do tummy time. But I'm just amazed at what three days has done for him. He now understands rolling over. Well, I think every day me and, and the, the more he grows, and like I said, he's not quite six months um, growth-wise. He's not six months yet on the eighth so four more days he'll be six months and i feel like as long as i encourage him he will be by seven months he'll be completely rolling over i really feel like um and that's a normal range it's it can go up to eight months and it still is normal it's just what every baby every baby is different and the doctor said that's really good when they lift up they lift their elbows up they're not, you know. All right, let me see if he'll try to show you. You gonna show him you try to roll over? Are you gonna show him? No? Okay, okay, okay. I just thought maybe you wanted to show him how you like to try to roll over on your tummy. Okay. All right, I saw him. I know you don't like tummy time at all, do you? He don't like it at all. All right, let's show him one more time. Look, look. Okay. Oh, I saw him. Okay, okay. Let's show him one more time how you roll over. You want to do it one more time? You want to do it one more time? Huh, boo boo? Huh? You want to do it one more time? And, um, playing, you know, I've been playing a lot with him on the floor. All right, so I pulled him a little bit. And he, see how he pulled his own self up? Now, he's trying to do it himself. So, all right. You want to do it again? Let me pull your arm. All right. Now. You going to finish it? There you go. And he puts yourself in the rolling position. So, that's excellent. If your baby's doing that, if you can help your baby to do that, um, and your baby's six months old, my pediatrician said he's doing fine. Yes, I should have been doing more tummy time. Yes, I should have encouraged him more. But these things I didn't know. Um, but now I can tell you guys, and if there's a new mom out there that thought the same things I thought, because, you know, it's kind of, that people keep saying, oh, you're, uh, has, your, has your baby sat up yet? I mean, I'm thinking what they mean by that is that he sits himself up. Whole time, it just means they sit up without support um and that like i said that ranges from six to eight months um and every baby's different so you just you you know your own baby your own baby excuse me i'm sorry you know your own baby and um you know just work with them give them toys to play with um and like i said don't leave them don't, don't just sit them up and think that they're able to sit up just because they sit up for a few minutes because, you know, that might be a, a, a really bad mistake. Um, because, of course, he's just learning. So, you know, just make sure you're there with your baby all the time. Um, but that's all. I just wanted to let y'all know a few little things that I've done in the last three days and the, um, the things that I've accomplished in the last three days from really helping him and showing him what his body's able to do and um i will definitely let y'all know when he actually rolls over himself um but yeah that's all i wanted to let y'all know and if y'all have any questions just leave a comment and ask a question or whatever i'll answer it um but yeah all right say bye bye say bye bye say bye Bye-bye. Bye, baby. Bye, baby. All right. Judy <clears throat> Pie, you're so cute. Look at that baby. Look at that baby. You're so precious. Yeah. <laughs>